wonderful uh, supporter of Positive Coaching Alliance is Team Snap. And I can tell you that now that my own boys are starting to play youth sports, Team Snap is there all the time, whether it's soccer in the fall, uh, basketball this winter, baseball, getting emails from our coach manager that are from Team Snap reminding us about practice times, game times. And uh, my partner Jen would tell you I got so excited this winter when I got an email um, from our team manager from Team Snap, and I'm scrolling through about practice, and I got to the bottom, and there were like five sentences about, please nominate a coach for a double goal coach award for Positive Coaching Alliance. And I was like, Jen, you got to see this, because I knew millions of parents across the country were being introduced to Positive Coaching Alliance because of Team Snap's generosity to include us in their communications to all of those parents and coaches. Now, I'd like to invite Ken to take the stage. He's Team Snap's Chief Growth Officer. Uh, with Team Snap is the presenting sponsor of our Double Goal Coach Awards. This year we brought in a record number of nominations. I'm saying it again, more than 2,100 nominations with their help. And Ken is here to tell us more about Team Snap. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Dave DuPont, the CEO and one of the founders of Team Snap, often talks about how playing high school football had a profound impact on his life. Now, pretty much any time he's trying to rally the employees of Team Snap, he almost always recounts a story from his high school football team, and often he includes a quote from his high school football coach. Now, here's the thing, and if you ever meet Dave, you cannot tell him that I told you this, but Dave played football 35 years ago. So, Imagine the impact that that coach had on him that 35 years later, as a CEO of this internet company, he is still using quotes directly from this guy. It just shows how inspirational that, that experience was for him. And he ended up being a, a coach himself. Now myself, I was a four sport athlete in high school and as an adult have been an avid triathlete all the way up to the Ironman level. Hardly a day goes by where I don't think of some life story that uh, a coach taught me along the way. And it's the reason why I've been a coach myself for the last uh, 15 seasons. Now I could go down the roster of Team, pa Team Snap employees. I mean, we've got former professional athletes, a number of collegiate athletes, and lots of avid amateurs, all who were involved in coaching, and all who were inspired somewhere along the way by some amazing coach. So why, why am I telling you this? Well, we have 8 million customers in 196 cust uh, countries who use the TeamSnap app to communicate with their team. So a lot of people know who we are. I, I know we have a ton of customers in the room, and I, I thank all you guys who are customers for, for using us. Uh, but a lot of people don't know the, the story about why we, we started TeamSnap. So very quickly, uh, you know, when Dave was getting the company off the ground, here he was as a coach. He had this belief that uh, he had had this profound impact by his uh, high school sports experience, and he wanted other kids to have that experience, and he saw coaches getting bogged down in all the logistical crap of running a, a, you know, a team. And so he started a company as a coach for coaches for the sole purpose to inspire more kids uh, you, you know, and have great experiences playing sports. That's why when the, the PCA called, and said, hey, would you guys like to be a sponsor of this event? We said, absolutely. We love what you guys do. And this is exactly what we stand for on a personal and a professional level. So with that in mind, I'd ask you guys to, to raise your glasses and let's, let's toast both the winning coaches tonight, all the, the coaches who were nominated for, the, for this process, and I would say even more broadly, all the coaches around the world who dedicate their time to improving the lives of young people. Thank you, guys. Good night. Cheers. So you guys ready to meet these coaches? All right. Um, so help tonight introducing our, our panelists and facilita facilitating our panel. Julie Foudy is here from our National Advisory Board. As you heard, Julie is a two-time World Cup champion, a two-time Olympic gold medalist, a National Soccer Hall of Famer, an ESPN broadcaster. 
What you might not know about Julie is she's a lifelong activist for social good through sport. She and Brandy are co-founders of the Bay Area Women's Sports Initiative with Marlene Bjornsrud, an amazing organization. She's also the founder of the Julie Foudy Sports Leadership Academy, teaching girls to be leaders both on the pitch and off. And finally, she's also very funny. <laughs> As an undergraduate, yes, as an undergraduate at Stanford at that time, Julie and I are so old, we didn't all have our own computers. And Julie had a paper to write. She said, Tina, can I borrow your computer? I said, sure. Off went my computer. And when it came back, every time I hit the return key, it made funny noises Julie had recorded of her own voice. <laughs> so, so with that, Julie Foudy. I think you're making that up. Thanks. It's the true? truth. It is. It is. <laughs> First of all, Tina, Tina just gave me the nod when she was like, get up, stop drinking your wine, you're about to go on stage. When I get the nod, I know, it's time. Um, I don't think I knew how to use a computer in college, actually. Did I? Is that a true story? Jeez, the days before email, cell phones, it was a beautiful life back then. Um, I am so ecstatic to be here. Every time, this is my second year, I've, I've been with PCA um, as an advisory board member for many, many years, but I, I have only been to the dinner now twice. And the thing that, that just jumps out at me, and I'm sure you, is this positivity and this energy for spreading the fun of sports, which I, it drives me nuts as a parent now of a six and eight year old, and I don't have cute pictures to show. I'm sorry I didn't bring them. Um, but I have a six and an eight year old, and, and thankfully, you know, they really have great coaches. And yet I had a friend, true story, just like it last week, who said, you know, my son's playing basketball, and, and, and she, she actually coaches as well. And she says, and the coach next to us, Oh my gosh, Jules, you would have gone crazy. He, he did not stop screaming. And these are 10 year olds, right? He's screaming and he's swearing and he's you know, yelling at them. And I am thinking to myself, I, I have to go say something. And, I'm, and, and as she's telling me the story, I'm like turning red, right? I'm like, did you go talk to him? <laughs> she's like, no, I just decided like it's not my business. I'm not a parent. And I thought, oh my God, this is going to be me. I'm going to be the person like videoing them, tweeting it out and saying, oh, look at this person. <laughs> this is awful. And so I think you need to start an alliance like how to deal with negative coaches in a positive way. Because <laughs> I'm not sure that's really the way we should deal with it, but that is going to be me. That's going to be my crusade, I think. I'm in. <sighs> Um, so as Tina mentioned, and, and I love this part of, of tonight because so often in the media, and I work with ESP and we focus on, on negative stories, but really there are so many positives out there that I wish we told more often. And we get this opportunity to talk to the four double gold uh, coach award winners tonight. And as Tina mentioned, 2,100 nominations came in, and, and they've searched all around the country, and I've read through all the testimonials that we'll send in, and we can't share all of them with you, of course, tonight, but it's, it's beautiful stories and beautiful people that you're going to hear from in the next about 15 minutes. So first, and they haven't even seen these videos yet, and I, and I actually started crying when I was watching them. The first one is Ursula Dahl, head girls basketball coach at Casa Grande Union High School in Casa Grande, Arizona. She's very kind-hearted. She's very caring. She's kind of like a mom. She's very positive, very motivated, very energetic. Kids gravitate to her. They can talk to her about just about anything. I can tell her anything and trust her with anything. I was the type of person that didn't really talk to anyone. And after playing with her, I've, I've opened up and I've been able to communicate better. She's a really good coach on and off the court. She's there with personal issues if we need to talk to her. Everything she teaches you in the game kind of applies to life. Determination and respect, especially respect for yourself. <laughs> coach, just put so much time and effort into building my daughter back up from the place that she was before we moved here. And I can never repay that. We have a very 
vast variety of kids from all different spectrums. She provides structure for children who may not have that structure in the home environment, which is very important. If you set enough goals and you meet enough goals, all of a sudden, Successful. Our four seniors last year all went to college. Her whole goal is to help every girl that decides they want to go to college. Doesn't have to be Division One, just college. Get your education, and this can be your vehicle. It's not like you need to do this, this, and this, or else you're not going to get anywhere. It's like I can help you with this. I can, I can do this. Anything that you need, anytime. She's always there for you, no matter what. She really does care, and she puts in a lot of work and a lot of time to help us. She makes you more confident. Just to grow with her, grow as a player, a woman with her, and then to see like all her dreams coming true, it's crazy. I love at the end when they say she makes me more confident. Please join me in congratulating Ursula Dahl. Where's the award? Oh, sorry. It's like, where are the awards? There's one. Right here. There it is. Sorry. No worries. Yeah, Tina, Tina forgot to tell me where the awards were. Sorry. <laughs> you all did. It's yours. <laughs> I was like, I know there's an award somewhere here. <laughs> Our second video features Lawrence Trooper Johnson of the Bay Area Outreach and Recreation Program in Berkeley, California. He really wants the best for us. He definitely cares a lot about the kids. We can always go to him. He's very patient. He's typically a a straight-faced coach, but you can see his heart grow two sizes, you know, <laughs> having to deal with the team. I'm more independent at school and at home. It's just like the secret formula that he has that just brings out self-respect, self-reliance, and, you know, results. It's like there's some coaches that really, like, just want you to win a game or something, but he really cares about you and cares about your grades, cares about your life. just didn't like to say that I was different, but he's really helped me like embrace the fact that being different isn't a bad thing and it's something that is actually really cool. Having a coach like him, there's there's no excuse. He's done everything. You can do it, you know. You might have to do it a little differently, but you you can do anything you want to do. I, mean, I didn't do anything at school, I didn't like school, I hated school. And he taught me how to like to start liking it and now I love school because like it can help me in life. He'll have us push our basketball chair and our regular chair. So it helps a lot because when I first came here, my mom was pushing me and now I just go everywhere by myself. And now she's going off to college to live on her own and play basketball. I don't think that would have been possible in such a short period of time without Trooper Johnson. Our ultimate goal is for them to have a future as a person using a wheelchair, not necessarily being at home, being coddled and sheltered by their parents. They will always have the ability to pave their own path. He will have a huge influence on my kid's life. I owe my daughter's independence to him. He's like an amazing coach. It's obvious that he cares. Please join me in congratulating Trooper Johnson. Here, I got it. Um, sorry, one second. Here we go. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I set this here? Thank you. Man. How about that? He gave my daughter her independence. Some words there. Our third video features Marion Jones, a track and field cross country and football coach at St. Vincent de Paul School in Houston, Texas. Focus on positive thoughts, 
Focus on having a great workout. See yourself in your event. Coach Jones is a driving force. He started the track program here. He has a real passion for track. Uh, he's a good football coach too now, don't get me wrong. But uh, track is his thing. Never, 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 ever give up. I like that. He is an amazing track coach. He is always pushing you to do your best. And I wouldn't be the same runner without him. He makes everyone feel like they belong. And he helps everyone with everything. He seems to always see the best and expect the best out of those kids. He's just about, you know, feeding them spiritually and physically, and he really walks his talk. Because of the positiveness, it seems that they all want to be here. They all feel part of something. He remembers all these kids and just shows them how much he loves them. And it's not about winning or losing. It's being proud of who you are and what you do. He never forgets that the kids are first. Even when they frustrate him, you can hear him starting to get frustrated, and then all of a sudden he turns it around and, and makes a joke out of it so everybody laughs and so they understand that the kids are first, we're trying to help them grow, it's not about us and getting our needs met. Good times and bad times, who do we need? Each other! Even through hard times when our track team might not even be the best, he's always pushing and there's never a situation where he says we have to win. It's all about doing our best and not only doing well in a track meet, but most importantly in life because he's not just a track coach, he's a life coach. I haven't worked with anyone of that magnitude as Coach Jones as far as the way he works with people. He deserves everything that he's, he's getting in even more. Hey, I don't think this place would be the same without him. Round of three. One, two, three, four, five, eight, 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 eight. Thank you. Very cool. So much. Very cool. Very cool. Whoa. How about that? He's not just a track coach, he's a life coach. I love that. Our fourth video and fourth award winner tonight features Pete Lavarado. football coach from Sacred Heart Prep right here in Atherton, California. I was a freshman. I'd never played football before and I walked into the locker room and I saw a sign that said, I'm a man built for others. Coach Lobb, just seeing the welcoming and just care that he had for even just a freshman that he had never met before, it just kind of showed me that this program was going to be a little bit different. Ready, down. Nice job, good job. Clap it up, let it go. Coach Love was instrumental in making football not only a fun sport for the guys of Sacred Heart to play at, but also making it a, a legitimate program in the Bay Area. He's taken a program that I don't think existed 15, 16 years ago, literally to the heights of, of high school football winning the Open Division this past year. I believe our success is a result of his philosophy and the way he treats the players and the coaches, that's where the wins come from. Okay, let's go seven on seven on the pride and poise, ready? All right, here we go. We were never the biggest, strongest, fastest team out there, but every single guy, I promise you, played for each other, the guy next to him, and that's, that's what makes teams win, and it shows. It has to be some kind of fellow feeling, even a love on the, on the field, that enables our boys to become very good friends, as they do, but to play so well together on a team. They just they have a sense for each other. Before you even learn football here, you learn, I mean, what being a man built for this is, and I think that that speaks a lot to what Coach Love cares about as, as a man and as a coach. Every day he said, my job is to love you and your job is to love each other. It's not just about us, it's about our teammates, it's about being a good man at the end of the day. He talks all the time about character development, someone who is making their mark 
away from the football field, even more important in life than actually what they're doing on the field. Football is only a small portion of our lives. If we are going to be successful men in this world, that we need to, to look out for others and to care for others and, and be leaders, not just on a football field, but in a classroom or in an industry. I have no doubt that the players who leave this program are going to be better people for it and they're going to make people in their lives better people. They're going to make the people around them better. They're going to make society better. Big round of applause for Pete Lamarado. I got whole filled with manners. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Thank you. One photo right here.